Welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, follow up video to the music making journey we began uh, a few days ago. Now we want to start with installing native access. Um, native, native access is uh, the tool to, from native instruments to install all the um, um, programs and sounds which come in the bundle um, complete start which we um, get in the video before. So it took a little while and then we are fine to go, I hope so. Yeah, now it's coming up a little bit forward, took quite a long time. Then you have to um, log in with your native ID, which we created uh, also in the video before. <coughs> so I blanked out um, the credentials, but uh, yeah, it's username and password as usual. So, and hopefully we see all the programs we've added. <coughs> they are listed here and this is the point from where we will install them later. Not now. There it is. You don't see complete start. You see the individual programs of complete start, like here, Gitaric player and contact player and reactor player. That are the goodies we want, and yeah, the additional synths they give you, like micro prism. And the sound libraries. You see here Contact Factory Selection 2, 6.76 gigabytes. Expansion Selection 1.68 gigabytes. That is quite a lot. And yeah, just delete it because we don't need the installer anymore. So we now we'll continue with the sampler I've chosen. <coughs> yeah, smart screen is not reachable. Uh, that, that's just a temporary thing. Yeah, it works now. So we set it up. Smart screen is not working because I download OneDrive files and so my internet connection is a little blocked, I guess. So, T16V WS is installed. Next one in the list is Search. That was the open source synthesizer. same smart screen issue. <coughs> I every time then make uh, not to jump over the smart screen and try it again and yeah. You see oh, also this time it will work. Yeah. He starts the installation. Accept the agreement, next, yeah, I let it like it is and just install it. All the synthesizer programs are not so big in size. This was uh, the, the biggest. S 
so deletion also takes some time. I let it open and go on. We want to install Odin assets synthesizer. What we want are the uh, VST um, plugins. Don't know exactly what clap plugins is, but maybe we will figure this out in our journey. And the latest is Tyrell. We need to unzip it and yeah, install it. Oh, there are readmes. <laughs> oh yeah, the VST3 has a readme. Okay, we will look at this. Wrong one. This one. Okay, this seems not to be very stable. They don't recommend the VST3 plugin, so we will just go with the VST2 plugins. And yeah, they want directories. Normal the, the VST the 64 bits are in programs and the 32 bits are in programs x86. So we will create here a new folder VST 32 bit and choose it. Yeah, and paste it <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay now cho choose it again here it's uh, the 32 bit and now we want the 64 bit folder just in programs okay we want it VST <coughs> now we have it Okay, and we have nearly installed it. Good, the plugins are just downloading. That's not finished right now. So I search for my right program using data. Okay. <coughs> install it right now. We will now make another step starting Ableton Live Lite and trying to have uh, the plugins usable in Ableton and therefore Ableton must know where the plugins are go here to options preferences and you have here the tab plugins and that you can rescan for plugins and can directly browse for folders well this one is easy this is a uh, VST 32-bit folder
but I'm not sure if this is correct. Maybe I've chosen the programs for uh, programs x86 folder. Maybe I should choose a folder directly where we have put it in VST32. Trying this folder. Okay, this worked out. The, we need the 64 bit plugin of the VST2, and here we have the synthesizer. And this is the first synthesizer in. And yeah, I try the automatic search of the VST3 in system folders. Don't know why the search is taking so much time. I don't know. for my coffee <laughs> I would say okay um, took really long time maybe it depends on the just energy efficiency course of the N100 or maybe yeah I don't know the course So, here's the Tyrell, if you click on it, you see it's now on the screen and a new um, track, uh, the number 5 here on top is created with a Tyrell in it. Yeah, for sure, if you start over, you can delete all the tracks from the beginning, 1, 2, 4 and start with your track 5. <coughs> oh, there is a VST3 folder. I cancelled, but he has found something. In, in another folder, but um, maybe this the search, the search has function out. Because I see there the VST3 folder, and yeah, it worked out. There's a the TX16V, there's search. And there's from wave one Odin. And it's Odin. Yeah, Odin 2. So, don't need to copy the, uh, the VSTs in another folder, just let them uh, him search a while and then cancel. <laughs> uh, it seems to work out. And yeah, we have all which we have installed. I just check it, search and Odin, yeah, that's all the plugins we have. <coughs> so we can use them all.
let's click on Odin. There is Odin and we will track this Odin too. And search XT also works. And the last one is the sampler. TX16 WS. Okay. It works like a charm. So very good. We have our synthesizers um, in Ableton and here the plugins are downloaded complete. Um, that, that are effects plugins and yeah the 600 megabytes this is a little bit bigger and we can set it up hopefully yeah setup is coming up oh this looks old school Yeah, I go for the VST3 plugins. Only in this case. Okay, there are a lot of effects and free effects. Select all the not be the right ah, m3 fx bundle that are the free effects only and yeah we install them in the default directory clean up now we just go and install them. So it should be not so big because only less than half of the effects are free. And we only go with the free ones. Yeah, that looks good. Installation is complete, so we go back to Ableton. And wanna check if we can get these effects usable. I make now a rescan. And I don't expect that it worked out, but I check continuously. I don't see the plugins right now. I guess I must cancel this again. Don't know why the search is not working or working as it is. So we have cancelled it and yeah, there are the effects and it's a lot, really a lot. They also appear under plugins, VST3 and here's a wave sharpener and yeah, you see in the, in the down square you see that we have in the fifth track the wave shaper and um, the TX16 WS. And now we add an equalizer also to this track. I don't know. So this function, but the other ones don't impact it. I don't know how it works, but 
<coughs> we will figure this out later. For now, we, we've seen we, we get the effects in our track. There's an activation. Okay, you should buy it and activate it. But for that project, we just want to go with the free effects. We also have effects in, in Ableton, so it just gives us a little bit more variety at the effect sections. So, great. I've now made a new MIDI track and I put an Odin. And yeah, it works. Thank you for listening. I wish you a nice day.